India is in the grips of the world's worst COVID outbreak and its hospitals are running out of oxygen. One hospital says they're telling patients to source their own supply of oxygen. India's governments have been unable to explain the shortages. Yesterday, the country reported more than 3,600 deaths, the highest daily rise so far. Now, as India tries to manage its coronavirus crisis, News 12's Michelle Brown reports it's really hitting close to home for many here in the Hudson Valley. I speak to my mother, you know, twice a day because I'm so worried. Atisha Bose of Scarsdale has reason to be scared. <laughs> India is now grappling with the world's worst outbreak of coronavirus, and her mother lives in the epicenter in the country's capital, New Delhi. That is where hundreds of bodies are burned daily and hospitals are running out of oxygen. She's very brave, I have to say. She's very strong, you know. She keeps telling us not to worry. Kirit Sinchala owns Bavik Indian Grocery Store in Emsward. COVID-19 has taken the lives of some of his family members back home. Just got the news today about I would say 45 years old guy just passed away, my cousin's brother. Peekskill resident Sunil Tapar's mother-in-law died from COVID two weeks ago in India. She took the vaccine, the extra, the AstraZeneca, and 10 days, 11 days later, she passed away. Some of the people we spoke with here at Bavik say the sudden surge in COVID cases in India came as quite a surprise. We thought India was doing well, and uh, we didn't expect it to become so bad suddenly. Help is on the way. The CEO of Rockland-based Pfizer announcing on Twitter that the company is launching its largest ever humanitarian effort to help India. We are donating enough of these medicines to ensure that every COVID-19 patient in every public hospital across India can have access to them in the next 90 days. A sign of hope for Indians at home and in the Hudson Valley as their homeland is ravaged by the coronavirus. In Elmsford, Michelle Brown, News 12. And the CEO of Pfizer says the vaccines that the company is donating to India are worth more than $70 million. The shot will be made available to all COVID patients in hospitals free of charge.